If you're looking for a new and unique way to cook eggs, this method might surprise you. And it takes only five minutes. Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and I make easy, healthy recipes with 10 ingredients or less. So today I'm showing you how to make coddled eggs. These have perfect, delicate, yet firm whites and perfectly runny yolks, or you can make them firmer if you like. I first learned how to coddle an egg about 10 years ago. My husband and I took this amazing trip to the shores of Lake Superior. We stayed at this cute bed and breakfast and the owner made us coddled eggs in the morning. She didn't say what they were called and I just was really confused when I saw them because I was like, what is this? And then when I tried them, I was like, what is this deliciousness? And so of course I asked her, how did you make these? What are they? Luckily, she was more than willing to explain everything. She explained what egg coddler she uses, how she does it, and that's the method I'm sharing with you today. I've been making them ever since, and I think you are going to love them just as much as I do. Let me show you how easy they are. Let's do this. The only ingredients you really need to make coddled eggs are eggs, salt, and pepper but I like to make them the way that bed and breakfast owner made them for us. And she added shredded cheese, cheddar cheese, and chives. So I'm gonna chop up some chives here. And you can use a knife, but I like to use these shears. You might have seen this in my other videos for green onions as well. Just makes it a little easier to cut on the bias and also prevents the pieces from breaking off or sticking together. You'll need one teaspoon of chives per egg, and I'm making six eggs today, so that's six teaspoons. And to save you some math, six teaspoons is the same as two tablespoons. That's probably more than enough, but I'm gonna cut some extra so that I have some for garnish. It gets a little hard to use these at the end, so I'm gonna use a knife to finish it off. So I'll measure out two tablespoons, and save the rest of this for garnish. Might be a little much, but that's okay. I'm sure I can find a use for fresh chives and other recipes. Now let's talk about what you might be wondering next. What the heck is an egg coddler? I hate buying specialty tools that have just one purpose, but after I tried coddled eggs, I had to get one of these. So this is an egg coddler. It's got this top section here and cups where the eggs go. And then at the bottom is where the water is gonna go, and that is going to gently steam the eggs, which is what makes those whites so delicate. And it doesn't overcook the yolks as easily as some other cooking methods. Sometimes packaging for these calls these egg poachers, but poaching is actually different because poaching, the eggs are actually cooked directly in the water versus here, they are steamed from underneath. So I'll link the one I use down below, but there are other options. There's individual coddler cups, or there's like little cups that you can put into a regular saucepan. I really like this option because it all comes together and you can cook six eggs in one time. So first thing I'm gonna do here is transfer these to a plate so that I can grease them. You can grease with butter, but I usually use cooking spray because it's just so much faster. And you could also spray right at the pan, but then the oil gets all over everything, so that's why I usually do it on the side here. I'm using avocado oil spray here. Olive oil also works, or really any cooking spray that works for you. Now I'll place these back in here and set this top section aside. So we'll fill the main bottom section of the pan with about half an inch of water. After you've made this once or twice, even after you wash it, there's usually a little ring left, so you can kind of tell, but half an inch. So for my pan, that is about two cups of water, which I measured so I know that now. And we'll bring that to a boil. You don't have to do this, but I usually add a little salt just to speed it up. Feel free to skip that. Once the water is boiling, reduce it to a rolling simmer. It's kind of like that already, maybe a little bit less. And we'll insert this top section. Now crack an egg into each one of these cups. Make sure your eggs are cold from the fridge. This is going to prevent the yolk from overcooking. And be careful with the hot steam, it comes out of these holes a little bit, so. And I'm making six eggs here, but you can obviously make fewer if you like. Be sure all the cups are in there though, just so you have less hot steam coming out. And we'll season these with salt and pepper. So it's about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt per egg, which is three quarter teaspoons total, that's what I have here. And you wanna work quickly, because we wanna cover these as soon as possible. My hands are a little damp, so. Salt is clumping a little bit, but that's okay. And black pepper. I like to just use fresh cracked black pepper. I think it tastes better, but you can measure out 3 8 of a teaspoon to divide among the six eggs if you like. 
and one tablespoon of shredded cheddar cheese per egg. So that's six tablespoons total. You can kind of eyeball it too. I actually have a little extra here, so I don't think I'll need all of it. And finally, the fresh chives. We talked about this being one teaspoon per egg. And again, you definitely can eyeball it. I am really quite slow at this, so these are already kind of partially cooked before I've even closed the lid, but that's okay. Just work as quickly as you can. And go ahead and close the lid. And normally this will take about four to five minutes. Sometimes it's even faster if you weren't very fast with the toppings like I was. Once the eggs are cooked to your liking, you're going to want to transfer these pretty quickly because otherwise they are going to overcook. If you want firmer yolks, it's just an extra one to two minutes so you can see how they would easily overcook. I usually let these cool for a couple of minutes, that way I can touch the cups, otherwise you're dealing with heat proof gloves or something like that. It's just easier to wait a couple of minutes. And then just use a small silicone spatula, or a knife would work, but it can scratch the cups, so I prefer the spatula, to run along the edges and just make sure this isn't stuck anywhere. And you can carefully slide it underneath and transfer to a plate. Our cuddled eggs are ready, and I am ready to make myself a plate. I'm gonna have two of these. And you don't have to do this, but I like a little extra fresh cracked pepper on top at the end. And a little more chives for garnish, because why not? Let me show you what these are like inside. That's the best part, right? Delicate whites, perfect runny yolk. I love these so much. Let me know what you think if you try them. And if you need an easy breakfast idea to go with them to make a full meal, Try this easy bacon in the oven. This is the fastest way to make it.